Working faster and smarter is on everyone's to-do list. One great way to increase productivity is by learning shortcut keys. Let's have a look at Canva and 23 different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to increase your productivity. First, let's have a look at different ways that you can quickly update the text. You can do things like Control B to bold the text, Control I to italicize the text, or Control U to underline the text. You can also do things like Shift Control K to transform the text into uppercase. Of course, if you're working on a Mac, you're going to want to use the Command key instead of the Control key. To copy and paste an item, Simply select the item and hit Control C and then Control V. Even faster, select the item and hit Control D. This will duplicate the item. Next, if you want to delete an item, simply select it and hit the backspace button. Some of these shortcut keys may be familiar as you already use them in other programs. If you'd like to select all items, simply hit Control A. If you'd like to multi-select items, select just a few, hold down the shift key and click on the items you'd like to select. You can also click and drag around the items that you'd like to select. This way you can move all of them at once instead of one by one. If you make a mistake, like many other programs, hit Ctrl Z. And to redo, hit Control y If you know of any shortcut keys in Canva, be sure to list them in the comments below for others to use as well. Currently, the items are not grouped together. That means you can move them around individually. If you want to group the items, simply select the items that you'd like to group and hit Control g now when you go to move them around, they're all connected and they're all one. This makes it much easier to move things all at once. If you'd like to ungroup the items, simply hit shift Control g Now they're no longer grouped and you can move them around individually again. Let's look at moving things around. Of course, you can click and drag on items, but you can also nudge them around using your arrows. You can speed this up by holding down the shift key and using your arrows. Also, I'm just curious, uh, what other programs do you guys use a lot of shortcut keys in? I find I use a lot of shortcuts in uh, Photoshop and basically anything in the Microsoft Office suite. You may also want to move items to the front or to the back. To do so, use these shortcut keys. You'll notice that we just moved it to the back and it's hiding behind the yellow rectangle. When scaling an object, it normally anchors in the top left-hand corner. If you hold down the Alt key and click and drag to scale the item, you'll notice that it's anchored in the middle. So again, anchored in the top left. And then if you hold down the Alt key, it's anchored in the middle. I find this very helpful. It's also a shortcut key in Photoshop, and it helps with not having to reposition something after you've scaled it down. If you want to zoom in and out on your workspace, you can do this as well. To zoom out, hit Control and the minus key. To zoom in, hit Control and the plus key. And to reset on the workspace and have it fit to screen, hold down the Alt key and hit Control zero. This will bring you back and reset the workspace. So that's it, 23 keyboard shortcut keys for Canva. 
Do you have any that weren't on this list? Be sure to add them in the comments below for others to use as well. Thanks for watching.